Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. And do ants have mourning rituals in graveyards and actually mourn their dead? The answer may surprise you. So if you've spent any time observing ants, uh, some people like entomologists uh, actually do <laughs> a lot of this. And one thing that they've actually noticed is what happens when ants die, they usually will stay there for a couple days and then the other ants after that will pick them up and carry them off to kind of a pile where they stack all their other dead ants. And so it really asks the question, you know, do ants have a mourning period when someone dies, you know, do they take some time to grieve and then bring their aunt, their fellow aunt, their comrade over to the graveyard? And that's really what appears to be happening, but in reality, it's usually just a chemical effect, right? So the ants, they don't really have a super complex emotional structure, you know, where they're grieving for other ants. It's all basically chemicals. So what happens is that after a couple days of an ant being dead, uh, they start a emitting oleic acid and basically what this is is it creates a signal to the other ants that hey this is dead you know it's decomposing we got to get rid of it and so one thing that ants really communicate with heavily is pheromones so they're super sensitive to those that's almost how they again find food sources they alert the other ants in the colony of hey we've got food over here or something's going on here's the path that you need to follow so they really rely heavily on these pheromones so they can detect things like smell and pheromones very easily and so again what can happen is once those ants die they pass away they start emitting that that acid and the ants can tell so what they'll do is they'll again cart them off to the quote-unquote graveyard but in actuality what it is it's called a midden and it's basically like not a good graveyard it's more so of a garbage dump so you know not the most exciting thing but anytime they sense the the smells like that or there's garbage or debris or things that they don't want in the nest they'll actually cart that off and bring it on over to the midden which again is kind of like their garbage dump so they don't really have complex emotions unfortunately it's all just a chemical reaction and it's kind of neat they've actually sprayed live ants with this oleic acid and the other ants just they think they're dead right they'll pick them up even though the ants moving around it's struggling to get free and they'll cart them off over to the you know the graveyard the garbage dump that midden that they actually stack all the other ants in so you might see this happening more frequently in like a, a ant farm if you have one around your home because again there's not really as many options for the ants to have that mid-in, have that graveyard that they get rid of the people in. Um, but again, it's kind of interesting where it looks like they have a complex emotions, you know, a grieving process, and then graveyards where they stack the other ants, but unfortunately it's just more so a chemical reaction and then dumping other ants in a garbage dump to them. So kind of another really interesting thing too is that anytime you kill ants, they're gonna emit this acid after a couple days. So a lot of times if you're using traps or maybe you've killed a bunch or you're trying to destroy ants in your home, this can actually attract more ants to that area because again, they can really sense those pheromones from a long distance, they sense that acid smell, that acid pheromone that's coming off and it's gonna attract more ants, more so to just clean up the debris and it's like, hey, we've got trash over here, we gotta take out the trash, right? So again, they don't necessarily realize that you've been killing you know, a, a large amount of ants or trying to get rid of them. So it's something to keep in mind. So if you're using a pest control service, or again, maybe you're killing a lot of ants in your home or you've set out traps, whatever the case might be, that can actually attract a lot of other ants to it. So kind of good and bad, you know, if you've got bait traps, other ants might come in sense those dead ones and realize there's a food source at that point. So again, it could create a chain reaction, but if you see more ant activity when you've been killing a few around your home, that can be an issue and what can happen. So something to pay attention to as well. But again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And if you are looking for a pest control service, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you're a first time customer with us, go on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information for $50 off your first service with us. So whether you have ant issues, other pests you're worried about, or you're looking to set up a protection program around your home, be sure to head on over to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information for that great discount.
But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.